Okay, it's uh, 4.42 in the morning. On Monday morning, I worked all night Sunday night. It was, uh, as soon as I came out here, I had three trips immediately. Bang, bang, bang. Then I waited about half an hour for the next one, and I got sent to a house that was kind of uh, out of the way, shall we say. So I drove out there, out of the way, and I got there, and I phoned. Somebody answered. And I said, yeah, it's a taxi, I'm outside. Uh, she said, oh, I'm coming right out. She made me wait 15 minutes. Never came out. I called her back, and uh, it said, uh, your call is going to voicemail. Well, that means to me that she doesn't want a cab, and she doesn't want to talk to me. Sorry about that. The phone fell over and shut itself off. Now it's going again. Okay, so I waited 15 minutes and called, went to voicemail. She never came out. I went back to my parking lot where I usually sit and wait waited another hour for another call and it was a short one didn't go very far anyway I had a few more trips and by midnight or so I had a hundred and forty five dollars on and a little bit later there was an announcement that uh, they need cars at the airport that there's people waiting at the airport lining up for, for rides so I thought, okay, now I'm going to go. I have a purpose. I'm going to rush out to the airport. I'm going to pick somebody up. I got there, and a cab was loading in front of me. And uh, this uh, security guard or commissioner came out to me and said, that's it, there's no more. And the old guy with a lot of luggage said, well, we're going to take two cabs. And then the commissioner says, yeah, but this is not the same company. Because another company has the airport exclusive. We don't. But uh, the old guy said, I don't care. I'm taking two cabs. Because he had so much luggage that he needed two cabs to bring all his, his luggage, him and his wife's luggage. So I went with him. And the other cab went with his wife. And we went to a place which was about $20 away and uh, to pick up the guy's car. But uh, all the luggage, uh, they paid off the other driver because he had a car with a regular trunk. He didn't have a hatchback like this one. So I was able to take all the luggage and uh, the, man, the old man and his wife uh, were able to go in, uh, in their car and I would follow them home. It ended up being like a $45 fare. So that made my night basically. Uh, later on, I guess about uh, two and a half hours later, I got a call to a motel to pick up four people who were going to McDonald's drive through And because the guy ordered ten double cheeseburgers and uh, two packs of 20 nuggets and two large fries, they made us wait in the... Uh, place where you wait for them to bring out your order and meanwhile the meter was ticking and ticking and ticking anyway by the time I got them back to their motel the grand total was $20 and, he, and the guy says oh just put it for 40 I say you sure oh yeah you took good care of us okay so at that point I had $230 on which is okay uh, now I had another one, a regular. Uh, she went for $16 uh, to work. She works at the university. And I've taken her many times up to the university to work. She had been on vacation for a week or two. Uh, and her other job, uh, nothing's happening at her other job now. So she's going back to work for to the, to the university. She's on the cleaning staff, and apparently they're disinfecting desks and doorknobs and things, even though there are no students. <laughs> I don't get that part. 
I really don't get that part. But anyway, whatever. She's still going to work. It's okay. And I'm still making a bit of money. And I'll survive. Yeah. 246. If I don't have another call in the next hour and 10 minutes, that's fine. I don't mind. I'll be all right. Yeah, business as usual. Be back tomorrow. The time is now 5.56 a.m. And I just broke the $300 mark. I've got about uh, $305 on right now because I had a couple of lucky long trips. It was a slow night this Monday night. It moved slow. I got my broke even at around midnight and after that it took a while to get another call and uh, I was sitting there with about 107 on for quite a while then I had a fare for $35 so I was up to uh, 142 or so then I sat two and a half hours, then I had a $16 fare, and that was an hour ago. The time is now 6.09, my shift is done. I'm on my way home with $158. 85 of that is for the lease on the car. And the fuel, well, I don't think the fuel's going to cost me maybe about $12, maybe less. We'll see. I'm going to uh, deposit the $50 that I made for myself in the bank. That's the plan. Be back tomorrow. Hopefully it's a little better. The time is now... 5.28 in the morning. The morning is Wednesday morning. I just dropped off at the airport. It uh, was a fairly long night, but I managed to get a couple hundred dollars on, or almost a couple hundred dollars. It was close, it was like 195 or something. Then I was dropping off this old guy on the gorge and I started heading towards where I usually head and to wait. And then I got a time call for seven minutes away up at the university, which is practically the other end of town. So it took me a little longer than the seven minutes to get there. And I found my customer. First year student at UVic who's going home to Calgary. So at this hour, there are no buses going. There are not many taxis on the road. So I consider myself an essential service. I'll keep working. The Sunday night was good. I did a little over 300, I think. Last night kind of sucked. I did uh, 157 or something like that. Tonight, I did 255, something like that. It's uh, not predictable, but I'll take those... $255 nights I got half an hour in which to get back into town I'm going to get back into town deposit a bit of money in the bank a bit 
and then I'm gonna go fuel it and park it. I've done my deed. I can actually book off right now. That's it, I'm booked off. And I can shut this thing off too. There. I'm done. I've had a good night. By the time I get back to town, my shift will be over anyway. We are limited. The hours that we're allowed to work are limited. I'm allowed 60 hours a week. If I go over that, then, uh, well, then I get kicked off the board. And I did work longer on Sunday night just because I started early and I finished late. Yeah. I'll be back tomorrow or this evening, Wednesday evening. Two more nights to go for this week. After this week, who knows what's going on. The owner hasn't been driving last week or this week and all his drivers if I didn't mention it already, all his drivers on his two cars quit, except me. And he hasn't come to work. Maybe he'll come to work tonight. Or today. Maybe. I am just in the process of finishing a $300 night. The time is now 6.01. I have dropped off at the dockyard, my last customer. I have had um, an interesting time doing this $300 night. A $300 night when everything is closed and I think people are just getting sick and tired of being quarantined and staying at home and uh and not doing anything and keeping them it's just it, uh, next week somebody's gonna say april fool to all these idiots anyway this was my wednesday night and i have done well and i cannot complain uh got an interesting call tonight from uh my regular customer of course I had blocked her on my phone but I got sent to her address I thought oh what the hell I picked her up she seems to have uh, cleaned up her act quite a bit and I kind of missed her it's nice to see her again yeah she seems to have cleaned up her act how things go what else is there it's, it's just been a, a very interesting night I've had all kinds of people mostly uh, poorer people mostly uh, welfare recipients because it was a welfare Wednesday and I guess all these people just decided well to help with uh, social distancing or whatever you want to call it yeah business as usual and everyone was scared and everyone was hiding and no not tonight and there was even a bit of traffic on the roads I don't think this shit is going to take very long anymore I think people are just tired of it and I'm just going to shut everything down there we go it's all shut down except for the light that's shining on me <laughs> and showing me to you oh, 
what else is there to say? I got one more night to go this week. It's been a successful week. I've had two $300 nights, a $260 night, and okay, I had a $157 night. That was the Monday night. But the rest of the week has been quite good. A lot of, his, a lot of it is Interac. So the owner of the cab is going to owe me something. He hasn't been working all week. That's two weeks in a row he hasn't worked. All the other drivers on his two cars have quit except me. Yep. A little bit of hardship, a little bit of hard times. I mean, I've been through the recession. I've, I've been through, uh, what do you call it, uh, bankruptcy. I've been through all of that. Am I going to be scared of some little stupid virus? Okay, I'll drink a bit of soup. <laughs> I had a I had a hot tea tonight. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go to the car wash, wash the car. I'm gonna wipe down the interior with. Uh, those uh, protectant wipes. I think they got alcohol in them. I don't know for sure. Can I just clean up a little bit? One more night to go this week and this is a terrible road. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. It has been an hour, or more than an hour, since I had a trip uh, before I got the one I just had. Uh, it was uh, almost 2 o'clock, and I had my lease on. My lease was $110 for the night. And so I stayed in the parking lot and watched YouTube on... Uh, Wi-Fi and I was watching YouTube videos for over an hour and then I got a call to a convenience store at that convenience store I found someone who needed the cab she was the one who had called he went for a ride that totaled $24.50 which I put on the clipboard here yeah gave me two 20s and said give me a 10 back so a five dollar and fifty cent tip more importantly now I've got my lease I've got the gas money and I'm in a profit margin uh, I didn't need much gas money because I didn't go very far I've only gone 83 kilometers so far uh, so I've got uh, I've got my expenses on, and I'm in the in the profit mode already. $140 at uh, 253 a.m. Now it's possible that not much will happen over the next uh, three hours and a bit before my shift ends. Uh, welcome to Virus Taxi. Uh, if anyone has the thing, uh, it would be me. By now. there goes a bunny. Oh, two bunnies. Almost hit him. I missed him though. Two bunnies went across the street. Yeah, it's springtime, all right. They're coming out of their little burrows and they're uh, they're starting to frolic around. Two fuzzy little bunnies. Is this still still going? Yeah, it's still going. I accelerated a little hard back there from that uh, stop sign and of course when I center myself on the screen uh, it uh, the uh, phone isn't leaning quite as much as I would like on the dashboard the time is now 537 a.m. Uh, I just cleared and I have two hundred dollars on right now so that's not quite as terrible as it could have been 
uh, $200, yeah. Hope yours is better than mine. Yeah, you know what? If nothing else happens between now and the end of the shift, I hope yours is better than mine. If something did happen, you won't see this part because I'm going to edit it out.